I caught my wife making spicy pics for AP and made her move out immediately so now she's full berserk mode because AP made her a stepmom and a housewife. I can't believe I am at this point in my marriage right now. A month ago, I would have never guessed this would happen. Up until this point, our marriage was great, never left each other's sides, great sex, dates every weekend, and always had each other's backs no matter what. I have done everything in my power to make sure she has had a great life. After knowing a man at the gym for about two months, my wife started an emotional affair with him. Fun fact, I would also like to add that this guy has three different gym memberships for different gyms, after confronting her about it, she refused to stop seeing him. She says she's in love with him, and they send each other flirty texts and spicy pics. She suddenly says that she hasn't loved me for a while, and that AP makes me feel like a woman, however the love seemed so real up until this guy came into the picture. Ever since seeing this guy, she is like a completely different person, cold, resentful, and completely not interested in me. After doing the pick-me dance for two weeks, I professed my love for her for the final time and ended it by saying it's him or me. Her answer was I don't know what I want. I stormed out of the house, outed her to my parents and my in-laws, and contacted AP's GF. After this, WW got pissed at me saying I'm a bussy for telling our families. When she found out I told AP's GF, she went berserk, started yelling, pushing me, throwing things. She then started saying to me that we are finished and we have no chance. The affair still continues. WW and AP pretended like they stopped seeing each other just to get AP's GF to get off of his back. If WW and AP are so in love, why won't he dump his GF? Since then, I have implemented the 180. I've also found messages from WW and AP talking about what their babies might look like, they're going on dates in public, and the affair has gotten physical. I decided enough was enough and filed for divorce. She will be getting blindsided by papers in 10 or so days. She probably would never expect me to do this, but that's a good thing. I need to show her that I'm serious, and that I am not her second choice. On the day she's served, I plan on going nuclear, telling her families what all she's been up to lately with AP, showing proof of continuing affair and physicality of affair to AP's GF, cutting off her gym membership, separating my money from our joint account, and making her get out of the house. I am so scared of her getting served and doing all of these things, but I know it needs to happen if I want any chance of lifting the fog. My hope is to save my marriage by dropping an atomic bomb on it, but I'm prepared for the worst. Where I live, spouses need to separate for six months before any divorce can be finalized. If she doesn't come back to me at that time and implement the changes I need from her, then I know there is nothing to save. It'll be tough if that's the outcome, but I'll be okay and grow stronger from it eventually. Update. About a month and a half ago when I made this post, I thought I was doing the pick-me-up dance, but looking back, I definitely still was. I had this fantasy in my head that having her served would finally wake her up, but that wasn't the case. She was thankful for the divorce. Like I said in my last post, in the state I live in, after the initial filing the couple must be separated for six months before the proceedings begin. I decided not to go completely nuclear to not ruffle any feathers. Let me tell you, whenever people on this sub say divorce, while WS is in an affair fog, because you'll get a better deal, listen to them. She let me have our house, our dog, and pretty much anything I wanted to keep. She also agreed to sign a court order saying she can't come after me for spousal support. She moved out today. It was probably the most bittersweet thing I've ever been through, on one hand, living with her for the past two months was absolutely brutal. On the other hand, it feels like a huge chapter of my life is coming to a close. I cried pretty hard the moment she walked out, but I know this is absolutely for the best. Her and AP are still talking and sneaking around, and he still has his GF. WW is naive as hell and still neck deep in the fog. I'm still shocked by how infidelity changes a person's whole personality. My wife and I were together for 10 years and she was legitimately my best friend. We had all kinds of plans for our future. Once AP came into the picture, she could barely tolerate me. 
she absolutely resented me and could not stand to be around me for the past two months of living together, and I was way more civil than I should have been. You'd think I was the one who cheated lol. I'm starting to come to terms with the fact that she may have been a covert narcissist. Back when I made my initial post, I was a broken mess. I could barely eat or sleep, and I spent most of my time lying in bed. I've come such a long way in a month and a half. I feel so much better. I still mourn what once was slash what could have been, but it doesn't occupy the majority of my thoughts anymore. I see has helped greatly. I've been hitting the gym, leaning on family and friends for support and re-pursuing my hobbies. I've also got a few new hobbies lined up that I'm really excited to try. Since she legally can't come after me for spousal support, I decided that finding a new and higher paying job would be a good change of pace for me. I have a few interviews lined up that look really promising. Also, a ginormous thanks to everyone who posts in this sub your stories and advice have also helped me immensely in my healing. I realize that I've already been through the worst of what will be one of the most traumatic events of my life, and that gives me this strange sense of confidence and fearlessness that I've never felt before. This separation period will be a new start for me. I can take my life in any direction I want to. I feel more empowered than I have in my entire life. I don't know what the next six months have in store for me, but I know that I will evolve into the best version of myself during it. For any BS out there struggling, it doesn't matter how much they gaslight, blame shift, or rewrite history, I encountered all of this up until the moment she moved out, cheating is not your fault, and you are enough. Your WS could have tried to talk about any relationship issues with you or just ended things like an adult. They chose the most hurtful, immature, and cowardly way out. WSs are weak people who have serious, serious character flaws. You can make it out of this in one piece, and you can heal in a short amount of time. This may be some of the most generic advice on this sub, but just take it one day at a time and focus on yourself. Like, actually put in the work to focus on yourself. It absolutely works. For now, I've just decided to just sit back with a bucket of popcorn and watch the mess unfold. I don't want her to become vindictive once the proceedings start in six months, and doing this would definitely make her vindictive. As much as I want to tell AP's GF everything, I need to look out for myself. Update 2. So here's how things are going I've been living alone in my house with my dog, STBXW gave both up to me thankfully, working on myself, figuring out what I want in my next relationship and patiently waiting for the divorce to be over. Since I was with my STBXW since I was 15, I'm now 25, this is my first time experiencing adult life outside of this relationship. Living alone, doing whatever I want to do, and only having myself to answer to is such a great feeling. Overall, my healing process has been going extremely well I'd say. I'm actually so excited to date again eventually. I've decided to wait at least until the divorce is finalized to take that step, as I don't really want to have the actually I'm technically still married convo with any girl I may be interested in. Yesterday I realized that I had cracked a pretty big milestone in my journey, I realized that I no longer care about my STBXW, what she's up to, or what her future holds. Furthermore, I looked back and realized that I had this feeling of indifference towards her for weeks now. This is a complete 180 from just 7 months ago when I couldn't eat, sleep, focus at work, was in a state of constant distress, and I was deep in the reconciliation fog. Let me tell you, once you spend some time separated and that fog wears off, you start to realize all of the red flags you didn't notice when things were normal in the relationship. I was honestly a great husband and was being taken advantage of for so long by someone who didn't really love or respect me. I'm so happy I'm getting divorced from this absolute loser. My advice to people currently recovering from infidelity hasn't changed much from my last post. Seriously work on yourself, spend time doing things you love, pursue the hell out of your hobbies, lean on family slash friends and make those relationships stronger. Picture the person you want to be and try your hardest to be that person. That's what I did, and ever since the split, people have been telling me that I am way more confident than I've ever been. Nothing justifies getting cheated on, please never blame yourselves. And honestly, never take them back. Someone who loves you would never cheat on you.
Everyone who has gone through this crap deserves someone who truly loves us, and we will find them. Update 3. As of last week, my STBXW began posting pictures of her and AP together on her social media. And a lot of them. Which isn't surprising when we were together she tried her hardest to make us social media's favorite couple. I haven't looked at her social media in a while, but I was made aware of their pictures by a family member. I caved and took a peek, which obviously was a mistake. So, how do I feel about it? I'm kinda going to look like a fraud here, considering I said I was at the point of indifference in my last update. But I'll be honest. Considering we're not even fully divorced yet, it set me back a little. I was a bit angry slash sad about it over the weekend, but I feel a lot better now. Seeing friends slash acquaintances that I know and respect like their pictures truly made me realize that no one cares about my cosmic injustice, granted, many of them probably don't know she cheated, except this sub, and those that are closest to me. And that's just something I realized I have to be okay with. I'm mostly feeling indifferent again, because it does me no good to keep thinking about it. Them officially dating does not change the path of self-improvement I'm on. What do I think about the relationship? There are a lot of things to consider, the relationship was born out of infidelity. Trust will never fully be there. It took eight months of sneaking around AP's GF before anything official happened. AP likely has a history of cheating before this, seeing that he himself is divorced with three kids. My STBXW has extreme codependency issues. My STBXW is 24 years old in a relationship with a man nearly 10 years older than her with three children. Who wants to be a stepmom at 24? I give it a year or two before this relationship implodes on itself. But I refuse to let this take up any mental real estate any longer. I blocked her on all social media finally. I will block her number when the divorce is up in October. When I'm ready to enter the dating world again, which I am very excited about, I'm confident I'll be able to find a much better partner than her. All I can do is keep on keeping on. Continue to work on myself, continue to stay busy, continue to speak my truth when asked, keep on doing well at my job, keep on pursuing my hobby of creating music, and keep on leaning on the support of my family and friends until the divorce goes through. It's worked out well so far. We have reached the end of the story. Let's listen to some of the comments by our Reddit listeners. Comment 1. I'm a little more confrontational. I'd wait until after the divorce, just so it will be over with, to send a big duck you to those so-called friends who liked her pics. Let those idiots know they are supporting and liking the antics of a cheater. Why make STBXW's life easier? Why not let these friends know what kind of person she is? And who cares what bridges this would burn? These people are certainly not worthy of your friendship. They would be walking past away to me. OP reply. It's funny, this experience has certainly made my personality more confrontational, and I have been mulling this idea over in my head every now and then. I'll see how I'm feeling when the divorce goes through. Comment 2 I will say this, I don't think she left cleanly because she's in an affair fog. Women check out months or even years from a relationship before deciding to end it. I think she was just waiting for you to make the first move so she wouldn't feel bad, which is why I think she willingly complied to all your requests. I'm glad you're finding a silver lining in all this, but I just wanted to point out that women aren't as simple-minded as men when it comes to an affair. I would ask yourself what went wrong in the last few years, so you can avoid it in a future relationship. No one throws away 10 years for nothing, not majority of women anyway. Boyfriend who I love says I'm lying to myself because I'm simply obsessed with his Johnson. I put boyfriend in quotes because I kind of feel like my love for him is one-sided, and I'm not sure if he feels the same about me. I'll explain why later. The boy and I have been talking for about three months now, and during our first month of dating we had Zex for the first time. After that, it was constant Zex. I instantly caught feelings, and I fell madly in love with him after the first time, and after each time, I just fell more and more in love. The first time we went back Zex, my first thoughts were we should move to Japan, get married, and have two kids. I tell him that I love him every single day, but the most I get is a facial expression, or just no response at all, he never says it back to me. 
Earlier this month, I went to the hospital for psychosis and had an inpatient stay for five days. I called him each day and told him I loved him. He would squeal, but that's it. After I got discharged, he asked me, and I quote, when you said you loved me, were you in the right mindset? Was it the medicine? I told him that I genuinely loved him, and it wasn't just me being doped up on antipsychotics, and he said okay. I told him yesterday that I caught feelings after our first time, and that's when the word dickmatized was brought up. He informed me that it's a thing where you think it's true love, but in reality you're just in love with a man's Johnson, and that it's a dangerous situation to be in because it can confuse me. Until now, I've never heard of this phenomenon. Is this a true thing, or is he just finding excuses to just use me for Zex? I'm really confused right now. I'm starting to feel like my love for him is one-sided, but I feel so blinded by it that I'm not even sure what to do anymore. The same thing happened to my brother, but in reverse, he caught feelings after the first time, but she simply used him for Zex. I guess you can call that instance bag animated? I'm trying not to fall into that rabbit hole like he did, but I feel like the damage is already done. I'm so confused right now and I'm wondering if maybe I really am digmatized? Any input helps, thanks. We have reached the end of the story. Let's listen to some of the comments by our Reddit listeners. Comment 1. I mean if you caught feelings as a result of having Zex it might be more lust than a deep connection of personalities, yes. Might want to rein in the obsession, or you'll end up getting burned. OP reply. This is what I was afraid of. I hear all the time there's a difference between love and lust, but I never was really able to decipher the difference, especially since I'm young and still learning. I really don't want it to be just lust, and he's just using me for Zex but at the same time I don't want to fall into a deeper hole than I probably already dug myself into. This is really hard for me, not even gonna lie. Comment 2 He's giving you hints, take them. Part of the reason why Zex is considered intimate is because of the emotional connection that can develop during. You are riding that high and it has turned into infatuation. This isn't gonna bode well for you once the lows come, it's a roller coaster you're unconsciously putting yourself through. What's healthiest for you right now is breaking it off, because the more you have sex with him, the deeper the pit you're digging for yourself.